And we are back. Joining me now is fitness model Max Wettstein and Candace Booth, doctor of alternative medicine. Their new book is How Much Fat Are You Carrying Around? Great to have you back again today, Good Max. To be back. One more time. Nice to meet you, Candace. Gregory. Now, I have to say, this is Max and mom of Max. Yeah. You're right. his mother. <laughs> I am. So we've had his iguana on, now we've had his mother on. I yeah. know, I know. The whole family. <laughs> the lizard was a big hit. And so, uh, fitness and health runs in the family here. You're, you're studying holistic or uh, natural? Well, I actually have a longer background because I was uh, vice president over 72 health clubs for 20 years. Oh, wow. While wow. he was growing up. So this yeah. is where he gets it from. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and my um, father was... Uh, pro football player and own a mm -hmm. few gyms too. So. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Now I, I know he's a pilot. Wow, now, uh, so yeah. much is coming out today. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And I'll find out more about the lizard too, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's not here Spike's today? Spike's ready to come back on anytime. So this book is The Ultimate Fat Loss Guide for People Who Are Sick of Diets. By the way, you saw that chocolate segment? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm living on chocolate from now. I'm sorry. I want to be a chocolate here. Yeah. Uh, it's Shake part my of my eating oh, program. Are you, yeah. I like your mom. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Lady, you can't take chocolate away from ladies. You cannot. So. Yeah, and we're looking for the <laughs> more organic 70% cocoa. Yeah. So I, I don't know if we've. I, sometimes I put some raw chocolate in my cereal. I get some flakes. I don't know if it's the same oh, company or not. Cocoa or something. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you, but your point in this book is you say it's not just about losing weight. It's about losing fat. Yeah, it's all and about fat loss. Fat loss, and it, but you have a whole. You call it a holistic approach. It's so yeah, what, what does body, that mean? Mind, How is that? Body, body, mind, spirit. Body, mind, spirit. So what does that mean? How does this work? Well, it's it's a whole lifestyle in there. Um, it's not just a diet. We're talking about exercise, sleep, engaging your mind. Um, we're just giving you so much more than a typical I diet. I found my lifestyle. I'm sorry. It's chocolate. Yeah. But okay, go on. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So but you have to exercise. There's no calorie counting. Um, there's no... No products, calorie counting. Yeah, no products you have to buy. No, we don't eliminate any food groups, but you do have to exercise. And it's a high metabolism program that we teach in there. Yeah, we're going to fire so. up your metabolism mm -hmm. and restore your opti our physiology back to its optimum. Now, this is almost as attractive as the lizard, but what, what, what is this thing <laughs> that we've got sitting here on the cover? That, that's an anatomically correct five-pound blob of human fat, and we're just trying to show yeah. five you there. Five pounds? Yeah, yeah, how much volume yeah. five pounds you takes. So if you're five pounds overweight... Then you're saying that well, that's, except that's, that's a, a concentrated blob, yeah. And there's there's a lot of disease connected with that much fat in a given place in the body. Yeah, we're not just concerned with being skinny. Yeah. We're looking at your overall health. I mean, that same sort of fat can cover your your abs subcutaneously, or the internal visceral belly fat is going to lead to systemic inflammation and and sickness and disease. And unfortunately, so. a lot of the weight loss programs that are circulating uh, today in the marketplace have to do with just plain weight loss, weight loss and then people are not losing fat they're losing muscle so skinny is not necessarily healthy because so there have been some studies that. well you know dr lewis in the five by diet was saying you know that like even if you're one pound overweight his argument was more than just the skinnier the better or as long as you're not overweight yeah. but you're saying but it's more than that you really think though that you need to have well we've uncovered some clinical studies saying that it's okay if you're moderately overweight as long as you're active as and exercise. Active. Yeah. But even if you're skinny, if you have a sedentary lifestyle, then you could still be very unhealthy. Yeah. So and, and because I'm in the field of alternative medicine, natural health, and I, that's what I do for a living, I'm very concerned with the kind of calories people are getting in terms of earning the calories. If you're going to eat the fats and the sugars that are wrong, make sure you've got it in your lifestyle to burn them off, utilize them so they're not breaking down and storing a sugar and then it's fat in the body. Mm. It's yeah. so easy to gain the weight. It's so much harder when you realize there's 3,500 calories in a pound of fat. That's a lot to have to pull off. So this is like 15,000 calories or, or more? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Calories. Yeah. yeah. But, but I noticed in the book you say that there's a connection between stress and belly fat. What's the connection between stress and belly fat? Yeah, there's a lot of buzz about that lately. It just turns out that, you know, there's a lot of internal fat that stores on your omentum organ. But it, it turns out that has a, high, a higher level of cortisol receptors. So when you're chronically stressed and running around in fight or flight mode, you tend to store more fat there. And that's, that's the same type of fat that's also releasing all these immune stimulating reactions and all this uh, systemic inflammation. It's also making you insulin resistant and prone to prediabetes. And we know that fat stores a lot of toxins. 
that's where most of your toxins are stored in your body. It's in your body. Well, and I noticed um, in so, Dr. Lewis in his book as well that he yeah. was talking about the fact that again he said belly fat was the problem, and if you got the tire around the middle, mm -hmm. that that's really a problem. And and I'm really sucking it in while we're talking. Yeah. I just want you to know. But, well, um, I've noticed it with my type 2 diabetics um, because hmm. it does mess up with the insulin. So that's why it's it's really easy to come off diabetic medication if you can follow a holistic fitness program. Exercise is so much a part of helping type 2 diabetics come off medications. Are you able to do that? Because I've been telling my father, in case dad you're watching <laughs> this show, um, that his type 2 diabetes would be uh, less severe if he would lose the weight. It's, you know, it seems simple to say to a type 2, type two diabetic, stop eating sugar. but. In reality, Daddy's everything. I know. In reality, it, it seems that it's very difficult for people. But the fitness component, getting them to exercise, seems to be one of the biggest components for helping type 2 diabetics come off their medications. Yeah, it's all relative. I mean, yeah. to some people, just yeah. walking can be exercise. Yeah. But exercise is, is important to us, too, because that's just going to drive your resting metabolism, preserve your muscle. And it's muscle that gives you that lean, tight and tone appearance that, that looks good. You know, being skinny doesn't necessarily look good. So, I well, mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't there's not too many women that would agree yeah. with that, but yeah. it's true. Right, it's I really guess for true. guys it's a little I bit know. different because yeah. guys always go for the muscle, yeah. but yeah. but yeah, it's. I mean, if you had to choose being fat and being skinny, I think I'd take skinny. But true. yet, if you could take skinny versus athletic, I think you'd go for more Absolutely. athletic. Yes. You say there are nine roadblocks to that a lot of people encounter losing weight or yeah. losing fat. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. just emotionally, um, stress, just sedentary lifestyle, just common, common factors. Learning to eat to, to satisfaction, not to fullness, uh, doing the five to six small meals a day. Um, satisfaction, not fullness. Right. When, when are you satisfied? Well, you have a little chemical in your brain that will tell you that, unless you just overeat all the time and shut that chemical down. Did you tell him when he was growing up that uh, don't leave any food on your plate? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> It'll oh, help yeah. the starving kids in Africa? I know, oh, yeah. I know. I never figured that out. I'm a real proponent of not eat, it, don't eat things you don't like. Find, there's enough healthy stuff out there that tastes good. Mm. Um, and, and, and the taste buds are important. I don't teach people to eat stuff they don't like. So yeah, there's even, plenty in, of even in my food program. Choices that taste great. Right. So. And you said the small meals. Well, five to day six day small meals a day, grazing, so that you're not grazing. eating three big heavy meals a day that you can't burn off. The average person is not utilizing those calories, especially if they're sitting at a sedentary desk job all day. And that's really so. important in keeping your metabolism stoked and revved up. It's just grazing and snacking and kind of eating all day long. Just and then don't you're ever not overeat. starving, and you're not so. having the high and low blood sugar drops, which drive a lot of people to eat a lot of sugar. Yeah. So the brain does go through a drop in the afternoon, especially if you had a, a lot of starch or carbohydrates in the middle of the day. So teaching people the balance between proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. And you also talk about things like the importance of sleep, getting enough sleep. Which yeah, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just got to eat stretching, which is something I never do <laughs> enough of, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a lot to talk about, but. but well, I should say, Max, you yeah. are the Men's Health 2009 cover model. Yes, for their, for their calendar. That's just one thing that's out right now, just keeping everybody abreast of what's going on. Okay, so, so you've got the abs here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, you're going to recreate this pose for us here in the studio? Is that well, uh, I just wanted to give you an idea what, it, what, you know, what first of all, that is me. No one ever believes that's me. And Robert okay, Reed, that's what We're going to prove that this Robert is Robert Reed took that shot. But that's about <laughs> what 6.5% body fat looks like, so I was going to show you that. Now, you don't have to have a We're going to see if you use Photoshop. You don't have to have a six-pack set, set of abs to be fit or healthy, <laughs> even though it's kind of like an international benchmark. But, you know, it, it looks nice, but you don't have to have a six-pack set, set of abs to be healthy. All right. You know? Well, I'll okay, let you prove that you. Thank you very yeah. much, well, Mom of so Max, for being here. Us. And Max, yeah. once again, for being back. And you, and you can get the book on DestinationHealthPlus.com. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's plug our website yeah. and where you can buy the book. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Is this him? Let me see if we can get that. <laughs> How much fat? How much fat are you carrying? We'll be right back. Excess. <laughs>